My name's uh, Mike Ward, I'm the Global Director of Content at uh, the uh, Informa Pharma Insights and I'm here in uh, Munich at the Bio Europe meeting and joining me at the moment is uh, Sean Marat, he's the Chief Operating Officer of a Mainz German based uh, biotech company called Biontech and today they announced a very exciting deal with Sanofi in the, care, in, in the space of immunotherapy. So uh, thanks for joining me Sean. Oh, thank you for inviting me. So, could you just give us sort of the headline details of, of, of the deal? Yeah, sure. So, um, we're developing a completely new class of immunotherapies for Sanofi um, based on our messenger RNA technology. And we're developing up to five products for them, two of which we're going to co-develop and co-promote ourselves with Sanofi, right. uh, which is an important step for us in our strategy of bringing our own products to market. Right, so, uh, and the, the, this technology, this mRNA technology, yeah, how, how does it work and you know, what, what's, what do you think is special about it? Well, um, how it works is it's, it's, um, it encodes proteins and you can use it very specifically to really treat cancer. I mean, it's, uh, it's a lot m more superior than using protein therapies because you don't have the cost of goods. You don't have to grow things up in, in uh, cells. You can just make the messenger RNA very, very rapidly and test. Right. And so you can, you can shorten the, not only the development time, but you can also develop very cost efficient drugs. So by shortening the development time, what does that actually mean? Well, you can make constructs uh, or, um, for immunotherapies within a few weeks and, and, and test them in animals. So you can get to um, a CTA, a clinical trial application, or IND filing, a lot quicker than some of the conventional approaches to developing immunotherapies. Right. Okay. And uh, so, so, we're, so we're looking at uh, um, you know this technology. What was it that you were able to show Sanofi that actually got them to to, to sign the check? Yeah, I think it was a combination of things. Um, we are mRNA experts, um, we're immunologists at the same time, so it's the combination of co combining uh, a messenger RNA based approach with the understanding of immunology. I mean our founder is a medical oncologist, immunologist, and we're just stuffed full with both technologists in the messenger RNA area and immunologists. Right. But was there, was there any data? Do you have any con proof of concept? Well, I think um, with respect to uh, this um, particular uh, approach, it, we're developing a completely new class of immunotherapies. So with respect to these immunotherapies, no. With respect to messenger RNA and the immunotherapeutic effect, yes, we have three products in clinical trials. Uh, one for personalized uh, treatment, um, which really demonstrate safety, uh, path to market, path to the clinic, uh, and of course, low cost of goods. Right. The five programs that um, have been selected, who selected them? Were these programs you were already working on or was this something that Sanofi said, these are areas we'd like you to work on? Yes, um, I think it's, um, it was uh, Sanofi's idea uh, and we, over the last few months, uh, have built on that together to come up with a really good research and development plan uh, to develop these new immunotherapies. And uh, if, if I recall the uh, the announcement said that, okay, so the 60 million... Up front and in their term milestones. And what's that? Is that dollars or...? Dollars. Dollars, yeah. Six, dollars. So 60 million dollars in uh, up front and near term milestones. And then the programs, if they all come to fruition, if it comes to fruition, it's 300 million dollars per... Over program? 300 million per program. Right. Uh, and in addition, so royalties are on that. And, and for those... Uh, for those programs, and we have two that we can elect to opt into, right. uh, uh, for those two programs, we, could, we would share a development and uh, profits. Right, so you'd actually have to spend yes. some, some, of, yes. some of your own dollars yes. to, uh, to get that to work. And what about the sort of the geographical rights? If you're, you're co-developing, do you have co-commercialization rights? Yes, we do. In, uh, we've got our co-development and co-commercialization rate uh, uh, um, 
rights in two uh, territories, the United States right. and, and Europe, two, two important territories for us as we progress ourselves towards the market with our own products. Now, sometimes pharmaceutical companies aren't that keen to sort of have sort of, uh, sort of messy co-commercialization, co-development rights, particularly with a small uh, biotech company because you know, just the sheer size and, and the capacity of both. So did you, you know, have any sort of awkward conversations when you sort of said that you wanted to, to have some of these rights? No, uh, no, not really. Um, uh, we're uh, the largest biotech company in Europe. We're over 400 people now. Um, which is a sizable company. We have everything from research all the way through to commercial manufacturing at the moment. Uh, and so, of course, it was the logical next step to say, given our strategy, could we please have some uh, co-commercialization rights with Sanofi? And Sanofi were, were really accommodating uh, on this. And uh, I think it's really, you know, when you're developing immunotherapies, it's such a fast-moving environment. You need, you, you need to combine your strengths, and with, with our strengths in the personalized field, uh, it really makes a good combination, both on the development side and the commercialization side. And it, a lot of the immunotherapies that we're seeing now develop, there's an awful lot of talk about it being combination products. So, mm -hmm. so we're sort of seeing, you know, sort of the PD-1s with other you know, types of, of, of cell therapy approaches. Mm -hmm. Do you envisage that your mRNA technology will be used in similar sort of combinations? Yeah, I think in many cases, uh, the way that uh, immunotherapy will move will be to the combination approach yeah. in the late stage, in the late stage setting. In the early stage setting, it may be monotherapy for certain therapies, but certainly in the late stage, which is what we're seeing at the moment, it will be combination like HIV was in the 90s. Now the five programs, in the release it didn't actually say what those, what the targets were. Mm. Was that uh, an oversight or was that done on purpose? Done on purpose, yes. So, uh, so when, when will we know? Uh, you will know in a, in a few years time. Right, when, when you actually set up the clinical trial program? Yes, that's right. That's right. the very first one. Okay. And on the five programs, okay, so I mean, it looks like a fantastic figure. Sort of, you know, five times three hundred million is one point five billion dollars. So, if everything comes to fruition, right, your quid's in. However, we all know that there's a huge amount of attrition. So, when you chose five programs, is that five shots on goal, with the with the hope, expectation that one or two might hit, or do you actually think that? Yeah, you've actually got you know five sure, surefire uh, shots on goal. Yeah, I think um, I think it depends up, uh, uh, of course how you look at it. I mean, the way we look at it is that um, in, the, in 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 what we're developing, which is cancer immunotherapies, you you may be able to apply these different uh, different products to different cancers, and in that way you may actually get all five to market. If you look at it on a probability based uh, approach, then of course. You know, you have to apply that and say, perhaps not all five make it, but uh, we don't see it like that. So the money you've got, you, you mentioned that you've got 400 employees already. Mm -hmm. Do you have all the sort of capacity and infrastructure that you need to sort of uh, advance these, these programs? Or do you anticipate actually having further expansion? We anticipate having a further expansion, but not because of uh, this collaboration. Right. More, more because we're building ourselves up for our own products and uh, the processes and people you need, we're very much focusing on that in the future years. Right. And, and finally, the, it was 60 million up front plus near-term uh, milestones. What, what, what are those near term milestones in terms of what you actually have to achieve? Yeah, so um, I, I, it's, it's a near-term research milestone, which right. is near-term, right. so very near. Okay, all right then, all right. <laughs> so it might be a nice Christmas present. Could be. Okay, all right. Well, Sean, thanks very much for, for stepping by. Right. Thanks Cheers. a lot.